What do you don't Bara, bara, himble gemination. No! My hat has a cow. Not bad. How hard you gonna hit when you're blowing in the wind? Oh. That was rhetorical. That'll put marzipan in your pie plate, bingo. So, Giles, got anything that could make this day any worse? How about the end of the world? No, I could count on you. You forget. Metal can't hurt me. There's something you forgot about, too. Sunrise. about nine hours, moron. What can you have been thinking? You are the Slayer. Lives depend upon you. I make allowances for your youth, but I expect a certain amount of responsibility, and instead of which you en enslave yourself to this, this cult. You don't like the color? Guess what? I feel better. <laughs> the dark forces are aligning against us, and we have a chance to beat them back. Tonight, we go into battle. Perhaps I miscalculated. I'm thinking yes. Well, you know what they say. 90% of the vampire slaying game is, is waiting. You couldn't have told me that 90% ago? That's Owen. That's Giles. We need to talk. Buffy's not home. I can just tell something's wrong. My spider sense is tingling. Your spider sense? Pop culture reference. Sorry. I have to meet my terrible fate. What? Biology. Hey, I hear there's a dance at the bronze tonight. Could be fun. Yeah. Buffy? Sure. We saved the world. I say we party. I'm talking about big, squiggly demons that came from the ground. Remember? Prom night? With all the vampires. Cordelia, your mouth is open. Sound is coming from it. This is never good. So, your secret's safe with me. Well, that works out great. You won't tell anyone that I'm the Slayer, and I won't tell anyone you're a moron. We need you to distract the vampires. Right. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kill them all. That ought to distract them. Well, if I survive parent-teacher night tomorrow, I'll see what I can do about Saturday. You're being a tad flip, don't you think? This is serious. And getting kicked out of school is laughs a plenty. You know what happens when you, when you let your life interfere with your slaying. Okay, well, if my slaying doesn't get me expelled, then I promise my banner-making won't get me killed, okay? You have responsibilities that other girls do not. Oh, I know this one. Slaying entails certain sacrifices, blah, blah, bitty, blah. I'm so stuffy, give me a scone. Hi, sweetheart. I'm Richard, and you are? So not interested. Good lord. You were dead, Buffy. I was only gone for a minute. Clearly, it doesn't matter how long you were gone. You were physically dead. That's causing the activation of the, the next slayer. She died? Just a little. And it uh, acts on, on pure instinct. No conscience. Uh, predatory and, and aggressive. In other words, your typical male. On behalf of my gender, hey. Yes, let's not jump to any conclusions. I didn't jump. I took a tiny step and their conclusions were. What are you doing? Breaking into your office and going through your private files. Candidate for what? I'm calling the police. Don't forget, you're supposed to be a meek little girly girl like the rest of us. Spoil my fun. Giles, look, I've got makeup tests to pass, missing people in Sunset Ridge, and a zesty new slayer to feed. Next time I kill Angel, I'll video it. Oh, the one that nearly bit me mentioned something about kissing toast. He lived for kissing toast. You mean Kakistos? I think it was taquitos. Maybe he lived for taquitos. What? Kakistos. Is that bad? Well, you know, it's no fun if you don't try your best. As long as fun is still in the mix. Sure. It's not like anyone takes it that seriously.